What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lazy, and this is the first podcast of uh, the Lazy Lightsaber Channel, podcast number one. Decided to do this. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you want me to continue or if not let me know as well hit that like button if you like the content that you hear this is one of those podcasts where you plug up your your headphones in while you're at work or maybe plug it into the bluetooth while you drive please don't touch the phone we all want safety on the road and you just listen to you know we're going to be addressing some nintendo switch haters because i know there's a lot of them out there there's a lot of them that don't believe in the system there's a lot of them that don't believe in the success of the system so we're going to address some of these uh, things and we're going to address some of that mind frame that these people have and put this all to rest because uh, frankly I'm sick of it I'm sick of the non-believers all right now I'm not going to sit here and let you know that the switch is the best system ever made because that's bs um, each person has their own you know kind of opinion about it um, but you're not going to sit here and tell me it's garbage either and no system is without its flaws including the nintendo switch it's a great system it has great games but it does have its problems uh from drifting um you know all the way to to it not being a powerhouse you know to it not being a uh, on the same level as the xbox 360 and the ps uh 360 i'm sorry the xbox one s one x and uh the ps4 so now that we're on that topic let's just go ahead and dive right into that immediately because a lot of people write it off quickly now the switch has sold like um i don't know like 40 million uh consoles um it it has already outsold the sony uh playstation 4 in japan um lifetime sales and it's probably gonna um if not catch up to it be really darn close to when it's all said and done uh, which the PS4 uh, behind the Nintendo 3DS is considered, you know, uh, one of the best-selling, you know, game consoles of all time. And yeah, the 3DS is a handheld, but you got to put it in there because it is something that was made to play games. So we're going to get started with addressing that um, the Switch is automatically not a competitor because it's not a powerhouse uh system and because it's handheld that's bs what makes us a, uh, a console good is the games right if you have great games uh, that play well that people like people will buy the switch and that's why it's selling like hotcakes right it's currently outselling the 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 xbox and the ps4 so but you know let's not talk about sales right because at the end of the day um, I don't care about that. If if a console is good, then I'll definitely play it regardless of how it's selling. Um, but yeah, if a console does not have the highest specs, you know, the the latest uh, graphics card or, or the highest RAMs, it, RAM, it doesn't mean that the console is not good. The Nintendo Switch is by no means on par with those consoles, but yet it's running games that even those consoles have problems running. A perfect example is Witcher 3. Another perfect example is is Doom. And there, you know, there's a handful of games that I can name that are on both, you know, PS4 and Nintendo Switch and work fine. Um, you know, and and they're good games that you should get if those are the type of games that you like. So I won't necessarily agree that just because the system is not a powerhouse, it can't have good games. A perfect example of that as well is um, the best game, in my opinion, on the Nintendo Switch. And probably, in my opinion, and this is from a person that grew up on, you know, the, the 64. I even had the original Nintendo. That was my first console. So um, I want to say the best game of all time uh, is probably going to be, for me, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Probably um, Ocarina of Time would fall on a close second. And maybe GTA 5 would be my third. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that, but that's just my opinion. And those are the games that I like. 
Um, GTA 5 is just one of those games that I can play for hours and just get lost in doing all type of crap. Um, but in my opinion, Breath of the Wild is probably the best game so far that has come out. Um, that I have played. Again, that I have played. I can't talk on stuff I haven't played because I haven't played it, so it wouldn't make any sense. But yeah, so those are like, you know, phenomenal games that that you can have on a console that's not a powerhouse. So just wanted to address that because there's a lot of people that talk smack. Oh, the Switch is slow. Oh, lazy, lazy. The uh, the uh, Switch, the uh, graphics aren't that good. Have you seen Fortnite? Dude, I play Fortnite on the Switch all the time. It's probably one of the most played games game that I have is Fortnite. And I freaking love it on the switch now i don't play it handheld because as you've heard me before i think it's horrible but the game runs perfectly fine when the console's docked and you have a pro controller no problem and just because one game does not work on handheld does not mean that the entire library of handheld of games on handheld is trash uh no in fact i've heard that the witcher 3 on handheld runs better than docked um so that's something to consider as well you know so that's one subset of people that say that the other subset of people that don't like the switch are the gta crowd right the red dead crowd oh but rockstar hasn't made any games on 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 the uh the switch well it hasn't made any gta games yes that's correct um, there were rumors um, last year I heard from various YouTubers comma, that they've seen the game run on the Switch. I don't know how true that is. Excuse me. <clears throat> but, hey, the game still hasn't come out. I don't know if they're working on um, a Switch exclusive. Like, I know that the Nintendo 3DS, I believe it was. I can't remember if it was the 3DS or the Vita, but one of them had uh, some Chinatown, uh, GTA Chinatown, which was like their version. So I don't know if they're making a version exclusive to the Switch or if they're just waiting for GTA 6 or whatever it's going to be called to come out and then just put it on everything, right? Put it on uh, uh, PS, you know, probably 4 as well, uh, PS5, uh, you know, Scarlet and the current... Um, um, Xbox Gen and as well as Switch. So I don't know if they're doing like a whole encompassing thing or they're just trying to get it on as many consoles as possible or if they're doing one exclusively for the Switch or if they're going to skip the Switch. If they do skip the Switch, I think that would be stupid on their part because that's a huge base of people that uh, play this thing and you'll be missing out on a lot of money. Now, if it does skip the Switch, that again does not mean that the Switch is not worth it. The Switch again has a lot of games that are awesome and that are nintendo exclusives because you cannot go play zelda breath of the wild or the sequel that's coming out by the way which is going to be freaking bestseller as well that's coming out <clears throat> and you won't be able to play that on playstation or on on xbox and i'm not trying to dog the other consoles because i think the ps4 and and the the xbox are great consoles and they have you know great games on their uh, consoles as well and 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 if that's what you like great but don't dog this part of the of the of the team that likes something different you know or there's also people that hate just to hate and then there's people that hate because they can't have it for whatever reason, you currently don't have the finances to buy a Switch. You see it, you kind of want it. You see it in the store, you're like, man, that looks good. But, oh, man, I don't have the money because I'm a broke little bitch. So I'm just going to be a, a hater. All right, well, you want to be a hater, that's on you, brother. You know. But we're going to dress scumbags like you as well and then throw you in a dumpster. So for those type of haters, like that specific example I just gave, you don't even get my my time because at least the people that talk about specs okay you want the the game to look 4k and you have a reason you want it to be in the best frame rate possible so so you have some basis to which i think is stupid but you still have some basis to talk you know smack 
and say I like it because of this. So okay, you 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 have that, you know. Okay, whatever. But those other people that are just hating just to hate are stupid. Like don't even waste your time, you know. And if you have some if you feel some type of way about it, let me know in the comments, man. I am in the comments. If you if you go back on my videos and look at them, you will see I am in the comments. I will address your comment. If you ask me a question directly, um, if you know if it's something you need to get off your chest, please say it. I will dive in there and we can have conversations on a lot of different things. Um, don't be nasty, you know. Uh, if, if, if it's a critique that you have, that's fine. Put it down there. Just don't be nasty. We can all have a civil conversation, agree and disagree on a lot of things. So, you know, just wanted to address uh, that segment of the population. Then you have, you know, other type of haters that don't even like video games at all. Maybe they're PC guys. You know, they want to get the best specs, the, the latest graphics card and just, you know, oh man, I can't even play Fortnite. You know with these guys because i'm on pc and and i can't and i hate all consoles yeah whatever we don't have time for people like you either as well kick rocks buddy uh, you can go keep tweaking your pc all you want you know switch is a great console and it's for people that like nintendo ips and people that don't people as well that want to go portable people that are sick and tired of the same old console being tied to your tv hey pc guy can you take your uh rig outside huh oh 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 you have to get a laptop and even if it's uncomfortable as hell to be carrying a laptop around when you want to play a game so you want to play fortnite on your pc on your laptop well, you better be uh, yeah, you better be lugging that laptop around everywhere with a huge suitcase, looking like a, like a dumbass, because you have a huge, uh, uh, bag hanging off your shoulder. Or I can just put a switch light in my pocket, you know, and uh, take my pro controller, and do it that way. Or you know, and even just the entire setup, like the the dock, the the switch and your pro controller and your your cables will fit in your backpack no problem and you can take them everywhere like you're looking at this picture right now that's the entire setup right there you got your switch your pro controller and your dock and that's all you need you know what i mean so you don't have to be carrying around this big rig so the portability aspect of the switch you know is it's freaking awesome so that's another reason that people dog it but it's actually a plus um, because you can play Witcher 3 on the go um, why would you not want to do that um, so those haters as well will we you know discard it you know just 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 keep it moving because you're over here just talking crap to talk crap you know, so we're going to address all Nintendo Switch haters on this podcast. And this is my first podcast again. Um, I will be bringing up topics, but this is just like a test run as well. Just to see how you guys feel about it. See if it's something you like, something you don't like, you know. I was talking to um, a a buddy of mine the other day. And uh, he's a, an Xbox um guy and he brought up a very valid point he said the online is the reason why i don't get switch he's like um i'm probably gonna get it when it becomes a little bit cheaper he's like i'm definitely gonna buy it because i want to play the 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 new zelda sequel uh, game that's coming out to a breath of the wild and he likes to play mario kart online um i think one of his i think uh, brother has it or whatever but um so he plays it that way, but he wants his own. Um, but he said one of the main reasons why he hasn't just, you know, gotten one until it comes a little bit cheaper is the online. So with with Xbox, you know, the the little live thing, you can put your headset on. You're right there. You're playing Call of Duty with your friends. You can invite them to a group chat, you know, and and yeah, Nintendo doesn't have that. They have a sucky ass phone app and that's great criticism that is something that that i'm like okay you know what that's a legitimate criticism of the console you're not hating you're just saying 
this is where this console for me falls short, right? And this is why I don't want it because it doesn't have this. That's a great point. So what you're saying is that it doesn't fit your needs. So for him, right, he likes to play Call of Duty. One, that game's on the Switch. Two, he likes to play with a group of friends or like, you know, they, they do this all the time. They get together on Fridays and play this game, which I used to do that when I had the Xbox 360. So I can understand, you know, that's cool that you get on there, you get the, the little headset on, you know, you guys get on the same chat and you play Call of Duty, you know, whatever. So he does that and all his friends have Xbox. Some have switches, some don't, but they, they got that going on and the switch doesn't offer that. So that's a, a legitimate criticism that I appreciate. And he's still going to get one for the first party games. Um, that are not multiplayer. He says he's going to keep his his Xbox, and you know he's going to keep doing that with his with his buddies. And then I guess when the Switch drops in price, he'll be buying it. Mm, hopefully, by then Nintendo will fix that because that's a huge drawback. Like now to switch on on this, you know, to flip the script a little bit. Hey Nintendo, tighten up, brothers, because it's 2019 and you're telling me that you can develop a simple chat between uh two people or a group of people and have them play together like we don't we shouldn't be using that stupid stupid ass phone app like i'm i'm not using that 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 is hot garbage get that shit away from me like the way Fortnite did it is awesome. You can connect, you can plug up your little mic or whatever, or your little janky Bluetooth if you don't handheld, which I don't recommend. Uh, but you can do that and you can talk to your to your friends and 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 play Switch. You know, and it's not the end of the world. I don't know why if they can do it, why Nintendo can't do it. Like, it's not a big deal. So, anyways. Um, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up now. Just wanted to address a lot of the haterisms, you know, that are out there and misconceptions of Nintendo Switch. Um, man, if you haven't got one, Black Friday is coming up. Go get yourself one. If you're undecided, I made a video uh, before this one on that to make to help you make that decision, depending on what you want, how you want it, and when you want it. You know, and I'm sure you can find a good deal. Where you can get maybe like a free game. I know that currently uh, Target is doing one where if you buy Nintendo Switch, you get the the Mario Kart uh, for free, and they got another couple of cheap games you can bundle uh, with that. So you can come out of there spending you know 400 bucks and come out with uh, you know Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart, and you know a couple other games and, and have a good time. So definitely something to look at if you're on a budget. Only got two, 200. Well, you can get yourself a Switch, Switch Lite. And, uh, you know, have fun with that. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this up, guys. This would be the closeout of our first podcast. Let me know again in the comments below how you feel about how you feel about it. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Are you a Nintendo Switch guy? Are you a hater? If you are a hater, drop the comments below. And uh, we'll definitely have that discussion. Uh, don't forget as well uh, to follow me on Twitter. And that's at Lazy Lightsaber on Twitter. I post a lot of stuff on there um, as far as new videos coming out and as far as news from Nintendo and other sources as well. New news coming out. I, I share, you know, re retweets from Nintendo and, and other companies on that site as well. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe um, so you won't miss any future videos that come out regarding uh, Switch stuff and just, you know, all around video game things. It's your boy Lazy. You guys take care and I'll see you later.